and welcome to another day of hauling fuel and loading some oil. We're right now, we're at Clico Power Plant. You can see the little, the little bitty baby dozer on the coal pile pushing coal around. The bigger machines are pretty much right here. That's a big one right there. The other ones are in the shop over here in this little bay doors over here. Well, that's what y'all see me doing this morning. I was at Alexandria loading rack, getting loaded with this uh, diesel, some dyed diesel for, of course, all their equipment around here. And um, we're unloading this dyed diesel, as you can tell. I got my suction running to my trailer back here. And then my discharge, we don't have discharges on our on our passenger side, I mean, uh, the driver's side of the truck. So we gotta run the hose out and up underneath the truck. To reach the tank on the other side but we have the hose coming up underneath the truck and running over there hooking up to their big dyed tank right here so the agenda for today is we had this loaded diesel here to flush the trailer back out and then we're going to leave here and we're going to go to port allen louisiana and we're going to go to exxon mobile uh the lube rack and we're going to get us another load of oil and we're going right back to Fort Worth back to Brintag this time uh, Brintag usually gets their oil out of Exxon because they, they, they're an Exxon authorized dealer and Synergy where I was at yesterday they're Chevron so anytime we go to Synergy it's usually out of Chevron or Conoco which is in Sulphur or anytime we go to Brintag it's Exxon out of Port Allen Oh boy, it's starting to get ready to move this piece of equipment here. That's a big old piece of equipment. He'll get back on the pile here in a minute and start pushing again, like the little baby dozer's doing right over there. Just pushing, they, they's constantly pushing the pile, constantly pushing the pile, spreading that stuff out. Like I was saying though, we're possibly just going to do that full load shuffle for the rest of the week. It's my weekend off this weekend. I got one of my compartments just finished up. Hold on a minute. All right, anyway, sorry about that. Uh, compartment finished up on me. But, uh, yeah, I'm guessing we're going to do that weekend, uh, that Fort Worth Shuffle this week. It is my weekend off this weekend. I didn't realize it. So this Fort Worth load and then probably pull something down tomorrow if I unloaded Fort Worth. That'll probably be my last last load for the week. You got to see that big one back here. There he is right there. And he's about to start pushing too. But anyways, uh, like I said, we're going to go down to Port Allen after we get done here. Hopefully they'll let me in early because my appointment's at 2 o'clock. So hopefully they'll let me in early because I'm going to be, be, be a little early. So I ain't getting one product, so I'm going to load four compartments. And then once we get loaded, we're going to get out of there, and we're going to hopefully make it all the way to Fort Worth by this evening. If I can get in and out of there, it'll probably be 10.30, 11.30 tonight before I stop uh, over there in Fort Worth.
Hey, good evening. You got Mike with Gillery here to pick up a load of oil. Pick up number 260 Chart number 1251, trailer numbers down here to Port Allen uh, to Exxon to load. Y'all seen me come in the gate and pretty much pulled right up on the lane. Uh, they had this truck that's right there in front of me. As soon as I pulled up behind him in the lane, they was pulling him off. So that's a pretty good sign. I'm hoping I'm not here but about a couple hours to get that split break in so I can have the time to go to Fort Worth. I do have enough time to make it all the way there this evening. As you can tell, they've already got me hooked up and they are loading me. Did y'all see the size difference in the uh, in them dozers over there? I think it was like the last clip I did before I started riding down the road again. Did y'all see the size difference between that little video baby dozer I was talking about? And I don't know how big that cat was, that big I'm going to say it was about a D10, maybe a D12 dozer. Them things are huge. Them coal mining dozers, uh, coal mining equipment in general, is huge compared to normal size stuff. Uh, on one of them clips, uh, where uh, you had the little truck thing going around, the little big four-wheel drive articulated thing. I don't know what they call that thing. The one I was filming is actually, oh, excuse me, I'm telling you, sitting around gets me tired. But the one I was filming was actually a guy that works here with us. He uh, he works part-time with us. He works at the power plant, and then when he ain't busy at the power plant on his days off, because they have schedules, on his days off, I don't know what his schedules are, just say it's a four on and three off or six on and four off or something like that but anyways on his days off he actually drives and hauls fuel for us uh like on the week like on the weekends and stuff like that so he actually works there at the power plant it's pretty cool nice seeing him he's a pretty good pretty cool dude but uh like i said we're sitting here getting loaded it'll probably be a couple hours before we get out of here I'm thinking about jumping back here, Bella. And taking me a nap. Because Lord willing knows I'm going to need it. It is January. It's almost the end of January. And we're sitting at 90 degrees down here in Louisiana. That's spring weather right there. I need to get home and get started getting my garden ready because uh, if it keeps the weather up like this, I'll be able to start planting my garden here soon. Goodness gracious. I laid back there in the bed trying to take me a little nap, which I'm off the lane now. And I shoot. <laughs> wow. Sorry. I'm off the lane now. Just sitting here waiting for paperwork to get called, but... It sure didn't take them long to get me loaded. That was the, probably the fastest, if I, fastest I've ever got loaded. I pulled on the rack about about 140-ish. I pulled off the rack about 225, 230. 
So that's about the fastest I ever got loaded. Now I'm just sitting here waiting on paperwork, which I'm gonna have to wait on paperwork. Or if they call me right now for paperwork, I'm gonna have to pull outside the gate and just finish my two hour split break off. That way I don't lose that two hours. But anyways, as I was laying back there, I started sweating a little bit. I was like, something's wrong here. Well then about the time that I decided to crawl back up here, they told me I'd get off the lane. Well, I'll see what the problem is now. They got 90 degrees in January. This is ridiculous. Alrighty. Well, they got our paperwork ready. It's 3.04. So we probably sat here for about 40 minutes waiting on paperwork. Which is fine and dandy to me. I got here about 1.30 or something like that. And we're leaving out here at Three o'clock, man, that ain't bad at all. That ain't bad at all. Got my two hour split break in. Bella's back there sleeping, so we're not gonna let her out. We're gonna ride on and then we'll stop. I gotta stop and get fuel, so I'll let her out then. paperwork. She should have done sending it out here. But I'm about to wait for paperwork. Yes ma'am, 4333. Sixty four hundred and sixty three gallons. I'll put the number in my ELD here in a little while. Wait for it over to the gate and we get on up out of here, get on the trucking. Drum on, drum on, drum on. Hopefully Ben's will be there about nine, about ten o'clock tonight. Hopefully there won't be no traffic and stuff like that. That'd be fantastic. Nice to deal with no traffic. Y'all, we decided to stop here at the old pickup park at 33 off of 49. My tummy's starting to get a little hungry, so I figured I needed to go ahead and stop and eat supper and do all that stuff. That way, it won't be so late tonight eating and all that because I don't like to eat really, really late. It's not good for your for your diet. I got this new set up here that we're going to try out. Uh, for some reason, the thing I have before, my little grill, 
Walmart don't carry them no more. Don't even carry the gas for them anymore. So I had to buy this kit, this thing here, and it's base that come they come in the thing. And I just bought me a gas bottle that screws onto the gas bottle, and of course you know the rest. That's how you're gonna cook. So hopefully it works well because it's been my first night using it, our first day. It ain't nighttime yet. But I figured I'd stop, go ahead and eat. Let Bella out to potty. Just go ahead and take a break real fast, because like I said, I don't like I don't like eating too terribly late. So yeah. We'll get this done. Well, <laughs> oh, that's real nice, real lovely. Real lovely, Michael. You gotta you gotta have a lighter to start it up. I don't have a lighter. Dummy. <laughs> oh boy, 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 boy. What am I gonna do now? I reckon there ain't nothing else to do except. Yeah. I reckon there ain't nothing else to do except you're gonna have to dig down use a credit this evening to eat off of. So. That was a total bust. Dang gummit. Dang gummit. Those steaks right there sure was looking pretty good. <laughs> oh, what a day it's been. What a day it's been. Mm. All right, well, that sucks. So I'll fire the truck back up. I can't believe that. I'm starting to get pretty hungry too. <laughs> wow. Yeah. When you're doing other stuff on the weekend and you ain't, like, we had the lighter out sitting on the counter. And uh, just smooth forgot it. Ain't nothing you can do about that. She potted. I guess we accomplished one thing. She got done pottying, so. Good morning. Huh? Back to four minutes. 
this morning we'll get out. my baby shoot man hey wait man I had to turn them lights on in the cab with me and turn some music on be jamming out to my music I'll tell you right now I'm a tired son of a gun come this way brother I'm doing my usual as I do every time I park up in the evening time. I get out and I walk around the truck just to make sure everything's still all right. I got some trash right here I need to get thrown away. Yeah. And uh, we made it over here to a little card lock place. It's a little satellite pump place that uh, reader distributors uh, has trucks and stuff like that come in here and get fuel and stuff it's just one of them places that are remote you know so uh, as long as you're delivering to the reader or relative uh Brentag, you can park here they done told us they don't mind and it's just a couple blocks down the road where where Brentag is at so in the morning, I'll get up. My appointment's at 8.30. So in the morning, I'll get up and just ease down there about, man, about 7 o'clock. And hopefully get it unloaded a little earlier and get the heck out of there. But I'm not going to be in too big of a hurry. I don't want to be fighting traffic in the morning. Probably going to be doing that anyways. But anyways, we got back in the truck now. I'm tired. It's been a long day. Being a truck driver, you need to, you got to learn how to, well, first and foremost, you got to learn how to manage your time. If you can't manage time, you're, you're going to run out of it every single day. So another thing too is, is you got to learn how to be very, uh, you got to learn how to be diverse with your times. And what I mean like uh, about that is, is you're not always going to be moving and running at the same time every day. Personally, I like to get up about 1 o'clock in the morning and then be done about 2 o'clock in the evening, 3 o'clock in the evening, because I ain't got to worry about the truck stops uh, being full. I can always find a parking spot at that time. I don't like running in the evening times. I don't know why. I've just never been an evening person. I've always been a morning person. Once I'm up, I'm up. I'm ready to go. But in the evening time, once I start getting tired, that's a wrap. I'm getting tired. I'm, I'm ready to shut down. This morning, I got up at 5 o'clock. Uh, I had to get the kids up to get on the bus. It is now 10 o'clock. I'm tired. Today wasn't a bad day. Um, went pretty smooth, pretty easy. There was no traffic coming through Dallas this evening, which was a plus. I always like it when it's like that. Uh, uh, it's always a plus when you can come through Dallas, Fort Worth and not even have to be in any traffic or anything like that. Like I said, that's going to be a different story in the morning. I'll have to fight it then. I'm going to call it quits on this 
video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like. Give it a thumbs up. Please share it. Comment on it. It really does help the channel out. Uh, these past few videos ain't been getting the views that they've been that I've been been getting, and I don't know why. Uh, I guess that's just YouTube. But y'all have a blessed one. We'll see y'all on tomorrow's video. They didn't give me a load yet for tomorrow evening, so like I said, in the morning we're gonna go right down the road a couple blocks and get unloaded. Oh boy, let's see what's going on. I really appreciate every single one of y'all, I really do. Y'all have a blessed one, and we'll see y'all tomorrow.